Hello, welcome back. I'm Vadim. I'm an IT specialist here at Nagios. And in this series, we'll be looking at advanced business process. BPI enables you to group hosts and services in a way to represent a larger service or department. This would be extremely useful when monitoring clusters. For instance, one server can experience downtime while the website continues to function. It might not require urgent action now. However, if a second web server goes down, then your operation's at 60%. Then it notifies you that immediate action is required. Having the ability to set up warning and critical thresholds on a group health will ensure that you have the most insight and not be distracted when an individual host or service is down. This means you will receive alerts when the problem reaches a point where you need to be notified. Let's take a look. When we launch Nagios, we could see BPI located on the left side. Under details, we'll click that. We'll see all priorities as well as high priorities, medium priorities, and low priorities. On the right side of that, we see host groups and service groups. Here is part of the enterprise edition, so you will see we have a few host groups right here and a few service groups right here. Every time you add something into those groups, you could sync and it'll automatically update. Here on the right side, we see create new BPI group. Under here, we see group ID as well as display name, which we can use to add different display names when we go into the service groups. And we see group description. This is a description that you could add for different groups. Underneath that, we see health thresholds where there's critical and warning. We could set a priority, low, medium, or high, and we could do authorized users right below. On the right side, we see a bunch of hosts and services that we can choose as well as the BPI groups that it automatically updated. To add a new host or service, we click and we add member. Underneath, we'll see it populated below. Once you're done, hit right configuration, and we'll see that it automatically populated under medium priority right here. And under that, we could see an IP range and that it's up. This will also show your problems that you might have under a certain group and whether it's pinging or critical. For best performance with this tool, anytime you add a new device, it puts it automatically into a host group or service group, which makes it easier to sync with one click of a button. I hope this video has helped you understand more about advanced business processing using BPI. Now with a single click of a button, you can have everything synced in your environment. If you've enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. Stick around because you won't want to miss the next video on scheduled reports.